Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Bradley. And... Emma. And... Hi. It is March 28, 2016, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, we've been busy with a lot of different stuff. It is 55 degrees out right now. Real field temperature 53. The high will be 59. And the low will be 33. And it is gray and overcast. Cast. Um, yesterday we had a small Easter dinner that we prepared. So I had to drop my pen. Um, and um, which was good. And then um, my youngest daughter came over with her two kids. And um, uh, she had some Easter dinner. Um, and I, did, did you have some too, Alaric? Yes. And uh, Emma fell asleep because she was exhausted from being over at her um, uh, dad's house. Uh, played really hard, so she fell asleep. <laughs> just a day, actually. <laughs> no, just for a couple hours. Um, in fact, uh, she was sitting here visiting, and then she went off into my bedroom, and and uh, her mom, uh, Brad asked where she went, and her mom said, oh, she probably went to go take a nap, and yeah, she'd gone, crawled in on the bed, and was asleep. Then she staggered out here, and fell asleep on the couch. <clears throat> but, um, we had a really nice visit with our daughter. It was really nice, and, uh, uh, she stayed for, for, uh, about three hours. Yeah, a long it was, time. It was really nice. And, um, then we all had dessert together. We had some coconut cream pie. Well, except for Larry, because he doesn't like coconut cream. Um, and uh, I worked on a bit of looming. Not much. Um, it's a new pattern, and it's kind of slow going. Plus, been a lot going on around here, so this is it. It is the sea, f sea foam wave ditch and it is beautiful thank you and i like it so i'm working on that and my granddaughter and i stayed up way too late last night <laughs> messing around did you hear us i heard a little bit so i had to tell her that people were trying to sleep mm -hmm. and um uh brad and larry slept downstairs oh me no nah. yeah Brad's back's really been killing him. Did you take some leave? I did. Okay. And, okay. We decided to go. We got up about 8.30. My granddaughter and I. My grandson got up about 9. The electricity got out about 10 minutes after my granddaughter and I got up. And, um, so when my grandson got up, I said, can you go down and wake up? Up, we call, the grandkids call him Papa. He can go downstairs and wake up Papa so he can call about the electricity. Well, he called and there was a power out, power outage and it would be restored about 11.30. Um, uh, they never said what caused it. Uh, but uh, So we decided that we wanted to treat the kids and take them out to breakfast. We went to IHOP. We never. won't go to IHOP again. Never. Um, after waiting 45 minutes, first of all, we had to wait again for a long time in the lobby, over 10 minutes, to even be recognized, ever asked, you know, if we wanted to be helped or anything. Um, you know, and they weren't busy, and um, uh, people saw us, they just, you know, kind of like, you know, not their job or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we finally got seated, money got to order, and 45 minutes later out come my granddaughter's plate, and we can tell by the looks of it that it sat under heating lamp for a long time. The eggs are, the scrambled eggs are now hardened on top and cold looking. The pancake is cold. So cold it doesn't melt the butter that they put on it. Um, and uh, she said, I have to go get the strawberry sauce for her pancake and your food is up. I'll be right back. Well, 25 minutes later, she finally brings our food. And in the meantime, we see her standing around, not doing anything. She never offers refills. We've long since been out of the coffee craft. had two, two small, two and a half small cups of coffee in it. 
Uh, my water, my husband just had water. My grandson had pop. These are all long since gone. Nobody's ever, she'd never asked if we would like a refill. Um, 25 minutes later, it comes out, and I can take one look at my, my omelet and tell it sat under a heating lamp for a long time, too, because the cheese that was melted is now hardened again. You know how it gets that hardened look on it. And um, my pancakes are cold. My omelet is cold. My grandson's pancake is is almost completely cold. Um, my husband's uh, cheeseburger, which has the wrong cheese on it, he asked for cheddar and it had Swiss on it. The bun is is dried out and hard because it sat under heating lamp so long. Um, and the onion rings are tough and hard. The full six small ones that they gave him and overcooked and overcooked and um uh so we complained about my granddaughter's plate so oh yeah i was gonna have them remake it well now she wasn't gonna have them remake it until we complained you know so she took that back and she said i'll have to go get you more butter because your butter fell off of your pancake well no it melted off you could see the trail down the side of my pancake where the butter had melted under that heat lamp enough it fled off and um, I could tell looking in my omelet that the uh, didn't even look like the hash browns had ever been any more than just slapped on the on the griddle they were still completely white in the inside and and didn't even look cooked and it was all stone cold I told my husband I said I'm done he tried to halfway eat his, his cheeseburger. My, husband, my grandson did eat his pancake because by that time the kids are so starving. Mm -hmm. My granddaughter, granddaughter did get her plate and she she ate hers. Um, uh, well, most of hers. The egg was disgusting. And the egg was disgusting. We did talk to the manager and he did comp the entire bill and apologize. And she even said, oh, I'm sorry, everything just happened at once. Basically admitting that, yes, our food had sat up there. We weren't mean or anything. But, yes, that our food had sat up there for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So, we ended up going to McDonald's so I could get something to eat. And, and the grandkids were still hungry and get them a little something. So, yes, here in Casper, Wyoming, we will not be going to an IHOP again. This is not the first time we have had very bad service and very mm -hmm. bad food. And, um, you know... Last time, we couldn't even get seated. We waited in the lobby for over 20 minutes. There were more empty tables. There was probably maybe three or four tables, small tables. They had like two people on each one, but nobody cared to seat us, you know. Um, you know, and it says a lot, too, when you walk in a restaurant and it's not very busy and you see all these dirty tables. And I noticed that, too. I've worked in a lot of restaurants in my time. And uh, a lot of dirty tables, you know, that sat there. And I, I noticed there were some dirty tables that were still sitting there when we left over an hour later. Well, you know, <laughs> the thing that got me is there's those two guys over to our left. Mm -hmm. And those two guys came in. After us. They came in after us, mm -hmm. and then there were the two tables to the right of us. Right, that they came, came in, after, in us. after us. They all ordered after us. All three tables were served. They finished their meal, and they left mm -hmm. before we even got our meal. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah and, and their food was, was hot and fresh. It wasn't, yeah. you know. I'm sorry. If I want something that's barely lukewarm, I, I can go... Nuke something in, well, if my electricity was working, I could I could nuke something in the microwave. I mean, what I originally was going to do with my granddaughter and I were going to make blueberry pancakes. We'll make those tomorrow morning. Cool. Hot, fresh, and ready. Cool. Right, Emma? Right. So, but anyway, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, they comped our complete meal. Um, you know, they said, they, originally he said, oh, I'll take your meal off there, of course. And I'm like... You know, I thought in my mind, well, of course you will. I didn't eat any of it, <laughs> you know. And um, uh, then he came up a few minutes later and said that he he completely comped all of our meal. You know, and um, 
But yeah, so that that we're done with with IHOP here in yeah. Castle, Wyoming. Don't go to it because it sucks. Yeah. Um. So then after we ate and stuff, I didn't lay down and take a nap because my granddaughter was up pretty late giggling and hooting and hollering and eating chips and candy in bed and <laughs> like we always do, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, we enjoy it. So here in a, a little bit, we're gonna go do some packing. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what the men folk are going to do. But, um, mm. And I know Brad's going to make uh, fried rice for uh, dinner. And um, then we rented um, the Mocking Jay, the Hunger Games, Mocking Jay Part 1 and uh, the Part 2. So they're going to watch that tonight. I'm yeah. probably going to watch some YouTube videos in Loom. I, so. saw, the, I saw the first. Yeah. The, the original Hunger Games. I was really impressed with yeah. that. But uh, I never did watch the Mockingjay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one Catching of those. Fires. What? Or the Catching Fire. Yeah. So. Yeah. But that's what we got going on in this fine hacienda, right, Emma? Mm-hmm. We're enjoying... Their last day over in this house. Mm -hmm. The next time they come to stay over will be in Florida. Mm -hmm. You know what? This poor dog, the whole time you've been shooting the video, he has been wanting up on the couch. Mm, poor and dog. He just acts like he is poor so Charlie. Abused. Yeah, he acts I'm like so he's, abused. Yeah, I'm so abused. I'm sorry. And then <laughs> Emma got her little butt off the couch, and you see how fast he hopped up mm -hmm. there. And then. Because, see, we have to do work today and tomorrow and then Wednesday. Em and I are going to probably spend most of the day sewing. Mm -hmm. You know, her, both of her sewing books came in. And, uh, uh, <gasps> what was that one, what was that one sewing book I got you? Can you go get your sewing books? Mm -hmm. I'll show you her sewing books. They're really cool. She did kind of take offense. Um, she'd never seen the books before, but... She kind of took offense to the title of the book, Sewing for Dummies. Yeah, well, she did when I, I, I found it for her. She was here last time she was here. I ordered these books for her. Mm -hmm. And she did bring her sewing machine with her cord this time. Uh, mm -hmm. But um, then I explained to her they make these books for everything. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's, let's hold this one. This is the first one I got her. And this one is... Um, She'll want to use the other book first, but this um, has just how to do everything. All, you know, how to do zippers and buttonholes and buttons and, you know, it's, it's very, very lengthy. And then this one is the one she'll start out with, which is this one. The sewing machine handbook. And this is really nice. It's in the spiral. And it has... Complete pictures like on how to do your bob and everything that goes on any machine and everything. So uh, if she has any questions or anything, uh, she'll be able to look it up in here and, and she'll also be able to call her Nana. It's good that I can't <coughs> because uh, yeah. I've been having trouble with doing the bobbin. Yeah, she got home and see she used my sewing machine and then she got home and couldn't do the bobbin on her sewing machine. So, um, uh, she's been having to wait until she came back over. So, we'll go through that and, um, everything. So, that's what we're going to do. What are you guys going to do here in a little bit? Um, Alert's going to vacuum the stairs. Mm hmm And, uh, not sure what else we're going to do. Okay, well, maybe do those, some of those containers and stuff. That's what else we're going to yeah, do. Yeah, so... That's all we're going to do. I hope everybody is having a good day. Um, we are. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Even when you have have uh, things, uh, negative things happen or, you know, something happen, you just got to shake it off and go on. Mm -hmm. I need to change into a lighter shirt. The sweater's getting hot. I can imagine. Getting hot. Emma thinks it's funny thing watching the beagle. Walk around with the diaper and diaper cover on. It is. Then we had to teach her how to diaper a beagle. Who knew she didn't need to know how that. 
how to do that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, back, okay, granted, this was back in the 70s. You know, I don't remember them ever talking about having to diaper a beagle in home ec. Well, you know, if times are changing, right, no. Emma? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, what do you guys say about life, Emma? Um, do you hate Justin Bieber now? Yes, I hate him. I always hate him, though. You used to like him a long time ago. When I was really young. But then I found out that he cheated on Selena, and I'm like, nope. So now it's down. just no way, man. Right? I think he seems like a girl. <laughs> what else? Um, she has a boyfriend. Yeah. It cheats me like I'm a human. Yes. I like the other douches. Yes. <laughs> yes, he's very polite. Yes. Yes. She got her head. They each had had, <clears throat> had a um one of the horror cross one the beheaded heads. They each have one. She. she um, oh, you gonna go get it? Yeah. And my grandson got his, which is got part of the brain exposed. Yes, I try to get my children, my grandchildren, healthy thing. <laughs> and I'm teaching my grandson, oh, if you do this, this, and this to your mom, you really scare her. So, I see there'll be a phone call in the future for my daughter going, Mom! And this is Emma's. <laughs> this is actually a girl vampire type. And then, this is... So, yes, yeah, this is... But, see, my grandchildren have grown up with this. So, they're used to it, aren't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, where's yours, Larry? This is the lyrics. Okay, show the top of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, this is theirs, and... I wonder what happened, what got on here. I don't know, it's been hanging for a while, so... Hmm. That's weird. Maybe it's rest? I don't know. But anyway, so that's what we've been doing is just doing that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah. I hope everybody's having a great day. We are. We're mm -hmm. probably going to, we decided we're probably going to leave here about the 12th. Maybe 12th or the 13th. Probably the 12th. Unless the weather is not good. Um, because after we get done with the garage sale and the guys come back again and move a final stuff out of the house. Mm-hmm. We won't have anything in the house, so we basically have to stay in the RV. Yeah. Well, so, you know, there's no sense. They're not going to let us live in the RV in, in the driveway. We, they, we have the town codes. It won't even let you uh, hook up a, you're not supposed to even hook up a, a RV or anything in your driveway. Though yeah. I've seen many people do it with yeah. travel trailers. But I know they would, they would find us and you know hunt us down yeah so yeah probably the 12th or the 13th probably more like the 12th we'll head will, on out here i probably will help with uh the garage so well it's, it's up to you and your mom we well, don't know if you have to go with your dad well i can still switch up the weekends he's gonna let me do it because mm -hmm. there's no way he's gonna make me go over there okay because, you know, I have to see you one last time before you actually leave. That's true. Mm -hmm. And this is not going to be the last time, I swear. But it'd be nice if you could spend the whole weekend. Yeah, well... Yeah. Well, because your mom's going to come over the next day anyway. Mm -hmm. That Sunday. See if there's anything she wants. Yeah. Before it's all donated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that would be cool. Oh. And she kind of hoped maybe she could sell some cookies and lemonade or something at the garage sale. Mm -hmm. for what she would want to do. She's going to have to make cookies. No, oh, she thinks she's going to buy them. Yeah. Larry told I, him our oven doesn't work. So. I, I can have my mom. Um, but you could make rice crispy treats. Yeah, I can have my mom buy me the cookies. and I can... <laughs> Papa, can I please speak? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to have my mom buy the cookies, and I'll pay her back. Okay. <laughs> with the money I earn. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll save the rest of it. Uh, I'll cookies split it all up. Cookies and lemonade stuff. Yeah, I'm going to split it all up, and um, I'll give how much money my mom spent on buying the cookies and right. stuff. I'll give it to her. I'll save some for saving and the rest of it for um, 
for the traveling. That way I can go to Florida and see you guys at the same time. Man, because when she and I talk about hunting, yeah, any money she makes, maybe she just saves half of it, and that way she still has some spending. Okay. Yeah. So, Sounds so like that's all. Aren't you guys glad you know this is the whole plan? So if you want some lemonade and cookies, come to our garage sale. <laughs> It'll be on the 9th of And we April. make good um, right. lemonade. Yeah. And you could do rice cookie treat, too. Mm -hmm. Those are easy. Mm -hmm. They really are. Yeah. We have, like, two big boxes of rice krispies. See, there you go. And we, and I, I don't know why, but I don't like them. Oh, really? Yeah. I like them. I love them. I like them. Really good. The rice krispie cereal. I do. Because mm. it's not sweet. That's why we <laughs> add sugar into them. Your yeah. mom used to add so much sugar to her stuff. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. So, anyway... What do you think my mom, why do you think my mom tells us not to put too much? I know. She knows. <laughs> she knows. So that's it. That's uh, the whole yep. story. We're going to get off here so we can get some work done. So then we can relax the rest of the evening and uh, they can watch movies and have popcorn and fart and all that kind of good stuff. Ooh. Right? You didn't tell me I got a fart. I'm not going to fart. Maybe you can get an icy or something. It was just like pure sugar. Slurpees? Mmm, Slurpees. I had one on the way back when we got the RV. RV? RV. And I was just like drinking liquid cotton candy, I swear. <laughs> I take a drink of it going down the highway, I'm like, whoo, because I usually don't do any sugar. So. No. <laughs> no. All right. We love you guys. Yep. And we cherish your friendship. You and we think you're all awesome. Mhm. Mm and we will talk to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Bye.